What's up guys? Black Rose Duelist here. My hair is a mess. Wow. It looks like I just got a bed, which is true because it's 6 p.m. Just kidding. I woke up like three hours ago. Anyways, we have uh, a Black Luster Soldier deck. I think that's what I'm going to call it. Um, it's the new Black Luster Soldier support with all the new ritual things. I guess they're trying to really push ritual cards nowadays, which I guess is cool because they were always kind of the worst type of card. Synchros and Xyz are much better than uh, rituals, at least they were. Um, anyways, my webcam is lagging for some reason. Anyways, again, sorry for making uh, not making a video in the past like four or five days, I think. I got a new dog, bought PS4, went on vacation, so I've been pretty busy, but I am going to be making more videos now. Um, I, I need the I need the ban list to be here. That's just the issue. We can't play the game without a ban list. And I'm not I'm not playing on ARG's list either, okay? I am not. Because when I go to a tournament, ARG's list is not gonna do anything for me. The only way I'd ever go to an ARG tournament is if there's one, like, in every three years where I live, which 99% of Yu-Gi-Oh! players, like, there's none in California, I don't think. So I play the ARG list there when there's no ARG events where you are. So that's why I'm not really caring for that list. So I didn't make a video about it because I just don't care. Because it doesn't really apply to me or any, really, people who don't go to ARG events. So, but that's besides the point, isn't it? Okay, so here's Black Luster Soldier deck. Um, it didn't work without it. The um, it didn't work without the Lightsworn engine. Uh, Pre-adding the Lightsworns in, the issues were not getting to your ritual monster and not getting lights and darks in your graveyard. Lightsworns fixed that up because the ritual spell lets you. Um, while it's in the grave, you can banish it to Ritual Summon. So when you mill the Ritual spell, it's all fine and dandy lion. Um, and the supreme, uh, the only issue was I'd send the Ritual monster to the graveyard. That's why I added the reincarnation, monster reincarnations. And I made it 42 cards because I noticed I decked out and I need my supplies. I don't need to be decked out. So... 2 JD, one, uh, one good point about JD, you can use them for the ritual, one card, one ritual, it's great. Um, one BLS, one BLS, uh, the bad one, but I use it because it's level 8, and you can actually use it in the deck. Dark Arm Dragon, uh, Gaia, because you need it for the ritual, guys. Second effect, Garo, 2 Raiden, 3 Lila, 3 Manju, 3 Night of the Beginning, 3 uh, Night of the Evening Twilight, Three Lumina, two Necro Gardena, and three Supreme, uh, the Ritual Guy. His effect is when he destroys a monster by battle, inflict damage to your opponent to that origi the original attack. If it's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, or is destroyed by opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can summon a Gaia, uh, the Fierce Knight, from your deck, hand, or graveyard. That's why I only play one, because you can get it from anywhere. A stretch of the imagination. Three Souls Recharge. Solar Recharge, 1 Alar, 1 Ragaki, 2 Monster Incarnation, 1 Foolish, 2 Charge of Light Brigade, 3 Supreme Ritual. Um, I'm playing Dark Arm Dragon because we do have enough Darks, and it's level 8 for the Ritual. Uh, night at the beginning, when you use him for the Ritual, you get to add a Ritual Spell card, and Evening Twilight, you get to add a Ritual Monster. Um, they both get a uh, Black Luster Soldier, get its effects. Uh, actually, sorry, the... Uh, card effects for that are when they're banished from the graveyard, so when you banish them for your BLS or for Supreme Warrior Ritual's second effect. Uh, their other effect applies when you normally use it for a ritual spell, or I mean for the ritual guy. Um, once return, you can target one monster your opponent controls, banish it, or you can attack twice. Um, once return, you can target one monster your opponent controls, banish it, or once return, you can banish a random card from your opponent's hand until the end phase. So. You get tons and tons and tons of effects based on what you use for your ritual. Extra deck, there's tons of synchros and Xyz. The only real ones I want to talk about are Michael and uh, Minerva. You'd need those. The rest of them just add the typical good ring fours and 
synchros. Uh, but yeah, the deck works really well. Uh, like usual, I will have a replay right now. Uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, I will do it. But um, if you're not going to watch the replay, please like, um, subscribe. Uh, you can copy this deck, use it, but for right now, I'll be going into the replay. Okay, we are back, and... Oh gosh, that's right. <laughs> okay, let's start this duel. Okay, so I'm playing the deck, obviously, that's in this video, and he's obviously playing Gem Knights. He sets five with, like, a thing, and ends. So I get a bad hand and just set my Knight of Evening Twilight. But he has 2k defense, I'm like, yeah, take that 400. I'm really close to winning this duel. So now I get to go for my Minerva, which is good because it's generic. But he has a Phoenix Chain. Um, the only positive thing here is I will fill up lights and darks in the graveyard. Um, thankfully he doesn't destroy it because now I can detach it for cost. And I can actually play for the first time this guy, the Black Luster Soldier, uh, Evening Twilight. Which, of course, he Phoenix Chains again. If you don't know what Evening Twilight does, if you have the same number of darks or lights in your graveyard, you can banish all the lights or all the darks. And you get an effect based on which one you did. Uh, so he, he has to self-MST because of, uh, lack of space, because he set five. Um, but he goes for a level chain, which is cool, because he gets to send the Gem Knight Fusion thing. Um, but he goes for this, and I, I mill three for Minerva's effect, but no lights weren't there. And I kind of have a cloggy hand, as you can see, but I get to, uh, Light Breaker, the br Brigade, right? Anyways, as you can see, I'm doing stuff now. So I get my BLS, but he mirror forces, and like, Mrrr. and he destroyed my ritual guy too. But now I do have a uh, judgment dragon and the ritual and the ritual monsters, so I can do that next turn um, if he doesn't kill me. I accidentally used Necrogardena then on accident, um, but it's okay because he messed up. He should have attacked with zero attack monsters, so Necrogardena gave that attack, but he didn't. Um, which is good. So I have 3,800 to 56. I play the Rituals effect in the graveyard, so I can uh, Ritual summon from the graveyard, and I get to summon my Ritual guy, destroying his uh, monster. Uh, and since it was zero because of Brilliant Fusion, I got a um, it takes the 3,000 damage, and then his effect makes it lose the original attack. So since it was zero, it's a total of uh, 5,300. So now he's down to 300. And that was pretty good on my part, I would say. Uh, but now I'm kind of scared because he has Honor Arc. I'm like, oh, I do have the Necro Gardener to save me. Just barely. I have 2,000 life points and it's 300. And all I have to do is hope and pray that he has nothing. Thankfully, I have a Lila, but it baits out the MST, sadly, not a trap. But I get to go for my ritual and attack for games. So that was really close. Tell me what you think about this deck in the comment section below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.